Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Dave's Exotic Foods, and we're going to be cooking a peacock today, or pea fowl. And as you can see, I have a frozen peacock right here with me. Uh, I actually ordered this from Exotic Meat Market. Uh, Anshu, the uh, owner, sent me two when I only ordered one. Uh, the guy is uh, a real great, uh, real great guy, great businessman, and he takes care of his customers. You know, I've been shopping from Exotic Meat Market uh, for a, for a while now. And uh, we're going to take this frozen peacock, we're going to defrost it, then we're going to brine it, and then we're going to bake it. And we have uh, some brining bags right here, I got these right here, from uh, Williams Sonoma, actually. And I'm just going to take my frozen peacock and kind of move it over to the side. And I'm just going to open this up just so I can show you the bags. And I believe there's two different sized bags in here, we got like a small one for like you know, chicken or, you know, just kind of small poultry. And then we got like a bigger one for like a turkey or a peacock in this case. But anyway, let's look at the bags here. So we have the, uh, the smaller bag and then we have the larger bag, which I'm going to uh, use for my peacock, actually. Very nice. So yeah, that's it. You know, this uh, peacock's already been cleaned and it's ready to go. All we have to do is defrost, brine, put it in the oven and enjoy ourselves a nice peacock peafowl uh, Thanksgiving dinner. Thanks again, Anshu. Let's, uh, let's go do this. Okay, and right here we have our brining ingredients, which we're going to be using. We have two and a half cups of kosher salt. We have two thirds cup of light brown sugar. And we have a tablespoon of whole peppercorn. And we're gonna be taking our ingredients here and we're going to be adding them to uh, a gallon of boiling water. Yeah, we're gonna mix it all in there and uh, let it dissolve. All right, so let's go do that. Okay, so now in a large pot, as you can see, over high heat, combine the salt, brown sugar, peppercorn, and bring to a boil and continue boiling, stirring until the salt and sugar are dissolved for about three minutes. So we're just gonna start adding some of this. Okay, get the rest of our salt. Now it may seem like a lot of salt for now, but well, it's uh, absorbed into the uh, product, in this case, our peacock. And uh, the end result, well, you get something that's surprisingly not too salty. Okay. And our peppercorn, just kind of, there we go. And then of course we have to, uh, we have to stir it around. There we go, so we're gonna just kind of mix it up, let it dissolve, bring it to a boil, and wait a couple minutes. All right, good stuff. Okay, so our salt and sugar has properly dissolved and it's looking really nice. Water has uh, been boiling for a couple minutes. So what we're gonna do now is we're actually gonna transfer our brine here to another uh, pot and then we're gonna let it cool for about an hour. We're gonna bring it down to about a uh, you know, lukewarm temperature. So we're gonna do that. All right, and our brine has been successfully transferred over from our uh, empty pot. And we're going to let this cool now. Okay, and here is our properly defrosted peacock. It's been defrosting in the refrigerator for about 48 hours, so it's ready to go. So I'm going to take this out of its bag right here, and I'm going to place it inside this brining bag, which is uh, also inside a, a nicely, uh, you know, big enough pot, which will uh, support my peacock or it could be you know a turkey chicken what have you so i'm going to place it inside the bag and then i'm going to pour my uh my brining liquid and uh, some ice water will also be added to the uh, brining mix so let's go do that first i'm going to uh take this out all right okay i have placed my peacock inside my brining bag it's looking really nice it's uh secured all right so i'm going to very carefully uh, try and pour our brine into the bag. So let's just do this nice and easy here. All right, here we go. There, very good. Nice. Just kind of pour it on top, yeah. There we go, that's most of it. Let's finish it off. Okay, there we go, very good. Hopefully that didn't get in the way. You can see it now. 
it's uh, practically all the way submerged. Uh, actually, uh, what you're going to want to do is uh, about halfway into the brining process, you're going to want to kind of like rotate your turkey or, you know, your chicken or in my case, your peacock and just make sure, you know, everything is at least for, you know, several hours submerged. So I'm going to be uh, brining this for about 24 total hours. So about 12 hours through, I'm going to, you know, rotate my bird somehow and that won't be a problem because I'm going to be uh, closing this up. Okay, there you go, guys. Our, uh, our peacock is ready to go. We're gonna put it in the fridge and we're gonna let the brine, you know, work its saltwater magic. And uh, tomorrow I'm gonna be cooking an awesome peacock, peafowl Thanksgiving dinner. Good stuff. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, as you can see, I have taken my peacock out of its uh, brining bag and I've placed it on a, a baking tray and it's ready to go into the oven. I'm gonna put it in on about 350 degrees and it's supposed to be uh, about 20 minutes for the pound. By the way, this is, a, this is an eight pound peacock. So we're gonna be putting it in for about three hours. And uh, of course, I, uh, I only slightly seasoned this, uh, this peacock. I didn't, I didn't use a lot, of, uh, a lot of spices. So we're gonna keep it nice and simple. Okay, good stuff. Okay, it's been about three hours. Time to check on our uh, peacock. I think it's gonna look really nice. Oh yeah, look at it. It looks like it's done. In fact, it is done because I uh, put my meat thermometer in there and uh, everything checked out. 160 degrees plus. Beautiful. Let's get that out and enjoy our Thanksgiving feast. All right, it's done and I've been looking forward to this. Check it out. Here we go, folks. Here is our peacock and it's ready to be uh, tasted at long last. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. So let's, uh, let's get some uh, proper dishware out and really get ready for our feast. Now I gotta make some mashed potatoes, maybe some green beans, and we'll, uh, we'll do this proper. And of course, what's uh, Thanksgiving without some proper sides? So I have some green beans and some mashed potatoes here to accompany my peacock or peafowl. So we're just gonna, I don't know, what should we start with? The leg or the wing? What do you like more, the leg or the wing? We can try a little of all, I suppose, but let's, uh, just gonna carve this off. There we go. Okay, there we go. Got that off. Just wanted to get my peacock uh, leg. There we go, and we'll get some, uh, get some white meat, you know, some of the breast. So I'll just kinda, there we go. Let's carve a little, little chunk here. We're gonna have a lot of peacock leftovers. Okay, and uh, this last piece here ought to do it. So I got plenty of peacock meat to try. Okay, good stuff, here we go. Got my uh, peacock breast meat, my peacock leg, mashed potatoes, green beans, you know, just a little, little pepper, a little salt, and we're good to go. Let's. Uh, Let's try the peacock, of course. I think we're most excited to see what this is about here. Okay, just a little piece. All right, peacock or peafowl. Hmm. You know, it's interesting. It's very light. I mean, it's kind of uh, it's kind of like turkey, but it's just kind of lighter. Hmm, it's really interesting. It doesn't have uh, such a different taste, though, really. Hmm. Hey, that's not bad. That's pretty good. Or you could uh, you know mix it up, a little mashed potatoes, peacock. Green beans all together. It's kind of. I'm actually kind of stunned. It's like really, uh, it's pretty normal as far as normal standards go. I mean, this is just like eating any other kind of chicken or, or turkey or you know any kind of fowl. I mean, it's uh, it's clean. It's light. It's nice. You know, it's very enjoyable. I like it. It's pretty nice. 
You know, mix it up with a little mashed potatoes too. Hmm. Hmm. There's a, I wouldn't say a chewiness factor to it, but uh, it has like a different consistency. But it's also a good thing we, we brined it, otherwise uh, it would probably be a, a lot drier, you know, and that probably would have made it, you know, a little tougher to, a little tougher to eat. It's just, hmm, a little skin piece here. Hmm, you can check out the meat. Nice white, looks good. Hmm. Yeah, it's very good. Kinda. This is a good Thanksgiving meal. Got my uh, red wine here. Hmm. Little green beans. This is uh, this is really good. But uh, why don't we just kind of. Why don't we man up and try some uh, peacock leg, you know? Let's just, I want to tear into this. This is what I want to do right now. Mmm. <laughs> That's the dark meat right there. <laughs> All right, I'm blown away. That's even better. The dark meat tastes even better. And I'll just kind of show that up for you. You can see my bite mark, but let's, uh. Let's try and cut it, cut it off a little bit. Here we go. Yeah, look at that. Oh man. Little piece. There we go. This is our, uh, this is our uh, leg meat, the dark meat. You can kind of see it there. Looks really nice. And uh, yeah, this is this is my favorite part thus far, trying this uh, peacock out. Mm, a lot better. Mmm. Really good. That, uh, you know, the, uh, the breast meat was nice, very clean, but this, uh, I don't know, maybe I'm just a dark meat guy. You know, some people prefer the, uh, the white meat, some people prefer the, uh, the dark meat. I've always liked dark meat. You know, I like the legs. It's uh, it's more my favorite part. The leg, the wing. I like the wing. You know, and of course, we're looking at the peacock here, its neck is uh, of course still attached to it. And I'm wondering if we can get some peacock neck meat off this thing and, and give it a little try. And I think that could be uh, that could be a little interesting. Hmm. Why don't we try and do that real quick? Okay, the neck is down here. Okay, there's not much neck meat, of course, and uh, it's hard to get it off the bird, but uh, here we go. Okay, there's not much neck meat, of course, and it's, it's hard to cut it off the peacock, but uh, okay, I got, got a little here. Got a little, just put that down there. And we'll try a little bit of the uh, peacock neck meat. <laughs> I'm not making this up. There is like a little kind of zesty tang to it. That's like really kind of weird. It doesn't taste like the breast and it doesn't taste like the leg. That's interesting. Wow. Mm. A little chewier though, a little chewier. But uh, wow, that was that was really interesting. It's really tough getting the uh, the neck meat off the uh, peacock. And I'll just kind of turn it here so you should be able to see the neck right there. But uh, yeah, if you want to just kind of take your time later and uh, really work at removing all the meat you can from the peacock's neck, I think it's worth it. That was really a <laughs> that was kind of a a fun surprise. Okay. A little more peacock here, mashed potatoes, and this is our peacock Thanksgiving meal here, folks. Mm. And once again, uh, thanks to Exotic Meat Market for uh, 
selling these peacocks, I can't think uh, of another place in the United States uh, that you can buy a peacock and, and cook it. I don't, I don't know where. Uh, as far as I know, Exotic Meat Market is the only place to buy peacocks. And, uh, you know, I'm glad that they have such uh, exotic foods. You know, you wouldn't think, hey, why don't we just cook up peacock? But, you know, people out there want a peacock, and there, uh, there is an audience uh, waiting to, uh, you know, go out and, and check it out and, and try peacock, and it's really good. I, uh, I approve of it. And, uh, yeah, I'd eat peacock again, wherever, whenever. A little more of the dark meat here. Mmm, that is really nice. That is a nice piece of meat. And that's nice wine. So there you go, guys. I've had a, a lot of fun uh, doing the peacock process, you know, the thawing, the brining, cooking it up, learning about, you know, new types of foods to cook and eat. And it's been a great experience, and i got to thank Exotic Meat Market again for having such, you know, exotic different types of foods that, you know, the majority of us wouldn't think, hey, why don't I try and eat that? It could be interesting, you know? Why not? Why not? You know, that's what I always say. Why not? You can't eat that. Why not? So this has been great, and I've, uh, I've enjoyed my peacock, my peafowl. I think it tastes uh, pretty good, and uh, a couple different parts of the bird you know, have, uh, have surprised me, especially the neck meat. Um, that was really interesting. I've had a lot of fun. You know, of course, you know, if you want, you can buy these peacocks at Exotic Meat Market. I'll include the, uh, the link, you know, right below in the description. And it was great. And I'm glad I, uh, I'm glad I went out and I tried it. I'm, I'm not disappointed. And I'm going to have a lot of peacock leftovers to enjoy. So, good stuff. All right, guys. I am, uh, I'm Dave for Dave's Exotic Foods. Thanks for being here, and I'll see you next time. What am I going to be cooking next? If you want to suggest something, leave a comment below. All right, I'll see you guys. I am out. Hmm. There we go. Oh, that's good. I want more of that neck meat. I'm going to have to work on that. Got to get that off.